President Bola Tinubu has stated that his administration remains committed to supporting the Nigeria Customs Service in its modernization and reform initiatives and continue to provide the necessary policy backing and uh, enablement required to strengthen the service's capacity to deliver on its mandate. President Tinubu disclosed this in Abuja at the opening ceremony of the 2024 CGC's conference with the theme Nigeria Customs Service Engaging Traditional and New Partners with Purpose. Here's more on this story. President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who was represented by National Security Advisor of Nigeria, No Ribado, noted that Nigeria Customs Service has shown remarkable progress in revenue generation and enhancing government capacity to fund critical national development projects. The service has also demonstrated that effective trade facilitation can coexist with robust regulatory compliance as evidenced by the enhanced border security and anti-smuggling operations in the country. These achievements affirm our administration's belief that public institutions can effectively drive transformative change. In his welcome remark, the Controller General of Custom, Bashir Adewale Adeni, noted that the renewed approach to partnership has led to the strengthening of existing agreements and the establishment of new ones, all aimed at creating a more collaborative and efficient trading environment. Through extensive stakeholder enlightenment programs, we have opened windows into our operations, fostering better understanding of our procedures and requirements. This renewed approach to partnership has led to the strengthening of existing agreements and the establishment of new ones, all aimed at creating a more collaborative and efficient trading environment for international trade. These strategic engagements and collaborative approaches have yielded remarkable results across our core statutory responsibility. While lending their voices, Chief of Defense Staff General Christopher Musa and others commend the NCS for their dedication to service. It is mutual accountability and a commitment to excellence. It is not enough to partner for the sake of partnership. We must ensure that each collaboration advances the strategic goals of the Nigerian Customs Service, strengthens economic, uh, Nigeria's economic position, and enhances the safety and security of our people. To this end, I urge the leadership of the Nigerian Customs Service to prioritize capacity building, knowledge exchange, and joint training initiatives with both traditional and new partners. We are seeing their global poverty rate fall from 36% to 9%, thus demonstrating the transformative power of global trade. A nation can, however, only take advantage of the prosperity generated by trade when robust trade facilitation measures have been put in place. I therefore commend the Nigerian Customs Service for putting in, in place initiatives such as this conference and a time-release study launched earlier this year to enhance trade facilitation in Nigeria. It is essential to continue the service officers' that education on the complexities of customs law, anti-smuggling techniques, and the latest technologies so they are equipped uh, to handle both confessional and emerging challenges. It is interesting to know that Nigeria Customs Service is the most automated agency in Nigeria. The conference is Center for discussions on revenue collection, trade facilitation, partnerships and compliance.